is 10.30 on Tuesday the 3rd of September and it is time for... Today in my boo journal. Today in my boo journal. So how so are ya? ya? <laughs> I'm just waiting. Move away from some, the mic, please. I'm waiting for some treats. Cause I'm well, you're not having any treats. Could you move so I can move my chair? It's going to be one of those days I can see it. So, oh. I did my night. Don't start making that noise. Or you can give me that back now. Right. Um, I did my night care last night. I didn't do my weights quite frankly because I spent time digging up in the garden and I was bloody knackered yesterday. So yeah, I tied my hair up. Yeah, it's well like a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, I'll do that in a sec. Uh, yes, I did that last night. Steps. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I have no idea where my phone is. I'm just been using my bloody phone. I'm useless. Uh, right. Why can I sleep? Does anybody know how to get rid of these inspiring fucking Fitbit messages that won't piss off? I can. I can. It's annoying because, you know, I don't want them. I don't want their motivational help. I'm quite capable of motivating myself, thank you very much. So you guys will get a kick out of this. I was um, setting up my... Uh, spread for the wrestling main event this month um, which I don't normally do but Amber did last month uh, being as uh, she's used a couple of my ideas I thought I would use one of hers so I set up a King of the Ring spread King of the Ring is like a tournament and um, I've also set aside a page so that I can list the matches that happen during the main event coming up in two weeks so I, was, I sent her a message I said um have you got the list for the for the um Clash of Champions tournament and she went well I've got this this and this and I went well you don't have this and this and she went well have they been and she said no she said well not all the matches have been announced so I'm like how the fuck am I supposed to set up a spread when I don't have all the information <laughs> I was like this is not helpful I need to be able to do this. This is not good at all. Okay, so yesterday I did nothing more. I need to put some laundry on in a minute because Alex is resting gear. So, Amber, are you ready? I know the rest of you don't give a shit about the wrestling. So, um, yeah, I'm talking to Amber now. Are you ready? I've finished my King of the Rings spread as far as I can go. Obviously, the Raw side is not up to date because I've not yet watched Raw. But there you go. That's pretty much it. Raw in red, Smackdown in blue, naturally. So, uh, yeah, so because you know who, who have won, poss won or possibly both of these matches um, and who will be on next week. I don't yet. And then this is tonight. So, but I will watch that tomorrow. Daryl. I'm trying to try. Well, you're there. being very noisy and annoying so that's my king of the ring spread i've got a post-it with the matches on so far but the women's tag team match hasn't been announced and the u.s championship which is aj styles that hasn't yet been announced and i'm like i need that info ah and so there we go and and they are yeah and Braun Strowman wanted to take someone's first champion who takes it down Brock Lesnar. Uh huh. And why is he going to do that? Because he wants his title. But that wasn't his title. Well, it wasn't. It is now. Well, I'm going to take Braun Strowman down once in the world. Okay. I hope you heard all that. I'm going to boost the volume so that you could hear that. That was so cute. Okay, so um, I, I registered for milk it. yesterday. I sent postcards out. I've not yet made my ASICS journal. I'm so behind. I have to do that tonight. And We're taking the back. Maybe. Right, we can skip through. I put. <laughs> Spider Man came to visit me yesterday. He did. Look, I took a photograph of him in my garden. Yeah. Spider Man. Now, I will say. Anybody who doesn't have a sprocket and is thinking of getting a sprocket, 
they're fabulous okay they are great I did get a little disheartened when I first bought mine because a lot of the colors were in the red spectrum and I've also heard of people having theirs where it's more in the blue spectrum I think it depends on the sprocket you get that's me huh? I will suggest if you have Maybe one not. please don't touch if you have one and you're a bit pissed off with the color of it try taking photographs with an actual camera instead of with a phone I'll show you what I mean okay <laughs> as if I've got any photos in here taken on my phone I should have right took that on my phone you can see we're very redded out this is what I mean it cut it I get a lot and in the red spectrum says, that says get up lady bar it does you're a bit close to the mic darling move back a bit um <laughs> so yeah photos taken on my phone the red spectrum hey those are my dragon really really does show through especially faces like we looked very red and hot and all that lot there hey, uh, that's that me. was taken in sort of semi-darkness yeah. which is why it's not quite <gasps> okay now it is annoying because you think well you know that, uh, that's a card so what on. i yes i know what i recommend is again that looks very red that lane is not that color it is not that ready colour, it's quite grey actually. And he picked it up so, very yeah, You can see it's a bit more grey there because it's taken in a different light. So if you have a sprocket, try taking your photos with a regular camera. I took all of these with my new camera. Look at the skin tone on me. That's much closer to my natural skin tone than that ruddy complexion one. That is what Callie's arm does look like. She's not purpley like I would that would have come out if that photo had been taken on my iPhone. She took this on her camera, which is exactly the same as mine, this one of me. I took these on my camera. Okay. I took all of these and I haven't edited any of these. I haven't changed the colour, the composition, or anything like this. I took this on my iPhone. I took this on my camera. I finally got into journaling the 31st of August. And I took a lovely black and white shot of Daryl um, on my camera. At an old um, railway, railway. And then I took this on my camera. Look how vibrant that is. It is such a good shot. You know? That's my favourite part of it. Is that your favourite part of it? Yeah. So if you have a sprocket, don't put your fingers all over it. Don't put your fingers all over it. Get out of the way. Move, 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 move. Yes, if you have a camera, try printing sprocket photos off of camera taken photo, uh, you know, camera taken shots rather than iPhone taken shots because it does it does not make a difference. It really does. I'm well impressed at how much better and sharper pictures taken with my camera are. So yeah. Oh, I got a fantastic shot yesterday, and I'm seriously thinking of printing it up. And there was more photos of me I'm, being Spider-Man. I think actually, I think I'm gonna because it is a really good photo, and I'm quite proud of it. I may have to zoom in just to make it really sharp. But yep. so I'm going to show you right the photo I'm about to print. It's this I took with my camera. Okay, Let's see if I can find it. Now, you would get a good quality with an iPhone, don't get me wrong, but let me just bring that into focus for you. I mean, look at that. What's what that amazing like? quality. Don't touch. That's amazing. Can you see on the flower there's a bee and a butterfly? I don't like you. Oh, that's nothing new. So I'm going to put that in my journal a bit later on. Now, we've changed the pen. So first thing I'm going to do is close that down and pull up the weather for today. So that I don't forget. It's a bit overcast today. So let's just do some cloud over here. 19 over 16. 621 done my day face cream yet we are lazing around in our pajamas but i'm about to go and pick my mother up and take her out 
No, <gasps> well, that, um, <clears throat> that wanted out. Can you I'm pull another one just to see what we get. All right. So the Six of Wands is talking about um, being kind to others, you know, giving giving to those who maybe have less than you, um, if you can help them out, you know, do so and all of that lot. But it is also, I mean, look, she ha has more, but look at the look on her face. I, I know you guys can't, probably can't see that very well. Um, she's almost reveling in that she has more. She's a witch. Yes, yeah, she's a witch. Um, and that guy's a witch. Yes, yeah. help other people out, but don't rub it in their bloody faces that you have more than what they do. You know, be nice, be kind, but you don't have to draw attention to yourself and to the fact that you um, you have more and that you're doing this fantastic thing by helping them out. The Knight of Swords Yay. is a young person who um, the knights, the knights and the, and the pages usually refer to younger people. That guy's um, a witch. This is a very um, determined young person. Oh, I want to say young chap because it's a, it's a looks like a male on the on the thing. That guy's a witch. Shush, please. Okay, shush. Thank you. Um, mm. He's a very determined young chap. He's off on some quest somewhere or other. Um, but he's got nothing with him. He's going off in a vest and a pair of trousers and a pair of soft boots. And all he's got is a cloak and a cat and a sword. He's got no provisions. He's got no, you know, nothing else, nothing to keep his arms warm. And he doesn't have a helmet. If he's going off into battle, he doesn't have a helmet or a shield or anything like that. So he's rushing off without having all the facts. Now, so what does that mean with, when you've got these two cards together? Well, she jumped first, so don't always assume that because somebody appears to have less than you that they actually do. Okay, they might not. They might be in a power to help you. Okay, so cut your superior attitude bullshit, I suppose, is, <laughs> is the best way. I so what I've written is... Um, Oh, my. Um, be helpful without being a bitch don't rush into a situation assuming you're the best person for the job because you actually might not be you know the the the, the people that you think you're better than might actually know more than you do Just let me right can't do that yeah okay so i haven't written in my steps the past couple of days so we're going to do that just to get caught up so the first day it was three six five nine or one point five four miles and yesterday was twelve six six seven or five point three five miles. Awesome. So let's jump through to today see how we did on sleep. Yeah. I went to sleep about quarter to one. Now Batman turned to do the light. Uh, woke up about quarter to eight. I was awake a couple of times it's in the night. So on the whole, it was actually quite a good night. So I like to do the outline as I go because then it doesn't seem quite a big deal if you leave it until the end it's sort of like oh man i've still got to do all of that and it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass i'm assuming that there's a postcard or something that's pulling my sheets because they're not lying flat <laughs> every time i put the ruler down they sort of uh, up i know they are a bit on that one. Oh well sod it all right let's put you upside down okay i haven't done anything yet Yay, my King of the Ring tournament. <laughs> um, today, uh, I know that's definitely gone in. I need to check whether Audible's gone out or not. I was thinking I could, for my next book, do like a collage of photos that I've taken. You know, 
on the cover like print out lots of little photos and sort of stick them all on that might be quite cool <clears throat> at first I was going to do that with all serifs and then I got to the end and I was just like do you know what it's got to have a flourish <laughs> so yeah there we go right let me just yeah um this is um our tortoise touche uh when i was a kid my dad was in the army and we lived in germany and um we lived in army quarters and my dad lived on camp and we were visiting my dad on camp one day and um i was only very very young and i said to my dad you know daddy what's that because I'd seen something moving on the parade square. So my dad went to check, no, no, his CO wasn't watching, rushed across, picked it up, brought it back, and it was a hatchling, tortoise hatchling. And um, we've had him ever since, basically. He's, so he's only a couple of years younger than I am, which means he'll be around when my great-grandchildren are alive, with any luck. Um, we've always called him he, because we always assumed he was a he. Um, he used to mount rocks in the garden when he was feeling a bit, you know, frivolous or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so we just always called him he. And then we found out that there was like a tortoise rescue place here on the Isle of Wight. Um, gosh, I'm going back, you know, quite a few years. And we took him along to visit her, just to check if he's healthy and growing well and all that lot. And found out that he's actually a she. So yeah, but he's a he in my book because that's what we've always called him and calling him she is just, it's its weird, you know, I don't, I don't know that I could ever do it. I, I don't remember finding him, I, I was literally very, very young. Um, so he's always been in my life and i was an adult when we found out he was a she so yeah it ain't changing now he's a he so yeah but he likes um iceberg lettuce so and that's I like his favorite this. and he eats loads and loads and loads every day so that is yeah and he's going to be slowing down ready for winter soon so um we've got a large trash can that's on its side one of the rubber black ones and it lies on its side and um, in the when it starts getting colder we fill it up with straw loads and loads and loads of straw and um when he's ready he'll go in there and he'll go to sleep and we just put the lid over the end to keep him safe um he used to wild hibernate he used to put himself into the ground every every year and then we found out we shouldn't let him do that because apparently rats will eat at them while they're asleep and can quite honestly eat them straight out of the shell and which the rat, is, you know quite and disturbing and one was broken and um, it's dead shh, what are you talking about when we went it out with Carrie that was a rabbit not a rat that was a rabbit it was a dead yeah. rabbit um yeah. so obviously we didn't want that to happen so yeah we we put put him in this big bin now <laughs> which you know he seems quite happy with that he'll get he goes in and out throughout the summer as well when it's a bit rainy or a bit cold and um yeah the other reason we know he's she is because every now and then we find an egg reptiles are like chickens they will lay eggs even if they're not fertilized um a snake that i used to own she's now gone to a new home um a couple of years ago she it was about three years ago i think it was she stopped eating and i couldn't figure out what was wrong with her and she didn't eat for about a month and then i went in there one day and she'd lost a shed load of weight and there were eggs all over the tank and it turned out after we counted up that she had been quite egg bound and we hadn't realized uh because you know I, it never occurred to me that snakes did that and uh, yeah she laid uh, near on 50 eggs and then about a week later she popped out a few more so <laughs> it was like oh my god and she did that every year after that every every august so it's like wow she hadn't done it in all this time you know but here we go so yeah tortoises do the same thing and most most of the time when spring comes around and he wakes up and lets us know he's awake by banging on the um thing we'll open it up and take out all the old straw and we'll, quite often we'll find an egg usually about yeah about an inch long so yeah it's quite cool so yeah there you go 
a little bit of info for you. That my tortoise. Touche, his name is. As in Touche Turtle, but I couldn't say Touche when I was little. I used to just say Touche. So his name is Touche. No, he's, he's like that, but I'll call him Toothless. You call him Toothless. <laughs> That's because you're weird. So there you go. Right, I'm off. I've got an L appointment tonight. So I will either do a very early evening edition or a very late one. I might not do one at all. I don't know. I might just come on Shaman Asga. Boom! And just leave it at that. So put your thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, leave us a comment because we love comment. Do we? He's, he's slowly trying to get on my lap while he's doing this. There's not room. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So, hang on, hang on. Let's make you big. Right, I need the other hand because I can't operate my mouse with the left hand. There you go. So put your thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. Leave us a comment because we love comments. <laughs> <laughs> These ears are delicious. Oh. <laughs> right, what else? Uh, click the book and you'll be subscribed. Yeah, and then hit the bell, subscribe down, down below. below. And this. And you'll be notified. When I got new, new content. Yay! I mean Batman ones. The Batman ones. You want Batman. I don't know that people can leave you Batman messages down below. Yes, you know the fidget cube I was telling you guys about that we found in my son's chair. Give, give me it, please. Why? That I said, you know, nobody was going to steal because it was mine. It's been stolen. Yeah, because I need it. Because he needs it, apparently. Right, shift your bum. <clears throat> So, and and div as kisses, kisses, because we love kisses as well, don't we? Yes, we like all the kisses. So we need all the kisses right now. Give yeah. us kisses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we're off, and I'll see you later on. Bye. Bye. <laughs>